think Saudi Arabia are undertaking very important uh, reforms under uh, their crown prince, opening up for women participation. Uh, also, women can drive from the summer. Uh, but at the same time, Saudi Arabia uh, has to diversify its economy. Of course, um, increased oil prices uh, are giving more opportunities to do uh, so. And geopolitically, also, the whole Arab world is faced with uh, real challenges. I'm thinking of Yemen, Syria, still the situation with uh, Iraq, and uh, the relationship between Riyadh and Tehran uh, is still very uh, difficult. And we also have a, a difficult situation inside the GCC. When we talk about what happens next uh, for the World Economic Forum, some big name guests potentially on the horizon. Are we going to see Mr. Putin at Davos next year? I will not exclude that. Uh, he's welcome. Uh, he's been to Davos uh, before. Uh, this year we had uh, also six out of uh, seven G7 uh, leaders. Uh, and the year before we had also Xi Jinping. Um, the leader uh, of uh, China. So we will now work with different governments uh, moving forward on a range of issues uh, related to cyber, uh, fourth industrial uh, revolution, uh, but also how to secure competitiveness, inclusiveness, and also to mitigate the geopolitical risks moving forward. And earlier this morning, I got a chance to catch up with Kirill from the RDIF. We were talking about significant investments in Russia. You know, he was essentially saying to me, there were all of these sanctions on Russia, and still our economy is growing. So when you look at that um, in your role, not just at the World Economic Forum, but also your former role as a foreign minister, where did the West get it wrong, do you think? The World Economic Forum is not uh, diving into uh, that uh, discussion. Uh, but it's true that the Russian economy uh, is now growing again, uh, not at least due to uh, the development in the global uh, oil prices. Uh, Russia produces more than 10 million barrels of oil uh, every day. I think post the Russian elections, the big challenge will be how to diversify the Russian economy. It is very much based uh, on oil and gas and um, also minerals. Um, and it will be very interesting to see uh, the economic team and uh, also the economic strategy uh, that um, Mr. Putin, I, I suppose, will uh, then uh, lay out uh, post-election.